Hey, what's going on? This is Prodigy from Prodigious Productions, and I want to give another YouTube video on uh, the Fast Track Ultra 8R. And I've been getting a lot of questions on YouTube asking um, kind of the same types of questions, really just basic, you know, fundamental uses of it. How do you do this? How do you do that in it? So um, I guess one of the major things people wanted to know was uh, how do you actually use it in Pro Tools? And uh, let me just show you again what the device setup looks like over here for me. As you can see, I just got it sitting on a desk over here, and um, it's, it's actually the USB plug that it came with. Running um, on a Toshiba laptop, it's an uh, Athlon X2 processor, and um, you know, I guess it's a reasonable laptop. I actually kind of beefed it up through four gigs in there, but you know, I guess you could run it on two gigs with no problem anyway. Um, as you see in the back, again, I do have um, all the inputs actually used right now. And that's because I'm micing drums. This extra one right here is just for my vocal back or whatever. I don't really use it. And um, let me just show you the drum setup real quick. <clears throat> so I got my overheads right here. On my left overhead and my right overhead. I got my cymbals. Of course with my, uh, my drum mics. Right there and right there. And my mic for my uh, kick pedal right there. And you see them all running back to the back of the... Fast Track Ultra 8R. Now, um, the only thing I'll have to say is that this thing was kind of tricky at first in Vista, and M Audio will actually let you know that they haven't um, perfected it on all platforms of Vista. But um, the cool thing about it is, uh, with some forum help, you can kind of figure out what's going on. And uh, one of the cool things about this product is it's got this virtual mixer right here. And it's, it's all software based. I don't think you can assign it to any type of MIDI or anything like that, but I guess it doesn't really matter because I typically just focus on using the gains here. And I just kind of leave, leave all the volume settings, as you can see, just kind of um, set to their typical zero decibel levels or whatnot. Um, let me just play something real quick and see if we can get something to, uh, to play in the background. Got Pro Tools open. Just gonna open a quick session real quick. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, cool. So we're just gonna play this real quick. Let's get to the meat of it. Okay, what you're actually hearing is drum tracks that I've tracked before using the Fast Track Ultra 8R and um, as you see there's seven there's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, seven. there you go yeah um, getting over here so as you can see the software return right here is actually showing you the uh, the return command of Pro Tools in Pro Tools you can actually route it to about eight different outputs um, depending on how you want your speakers to go. As you see right here, I got the M Audio B8, BX8. And, um, you know, if, if you want to kind of see what they sound like on other speakers or whatever, you can do that too. Let me turn this down a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, so basically, um, as you can see, you can just control it. So, yeah, not that big of a deal. Um, if you want to change the routing, you can do that in, in Pro Tools, actually.